What's going on guys, Jordan here with Sony Vegas Pro Editing Tutorial. Uh, this is the first one I've done on my channel, but I'm going to do more because I find them pretty fun and hopefully I can help some people. So today I'm going to be doing the Chroma Warp Tutorial that you saw at the start. Uh, so first, import your clip into Sony Vegas. Uh, I'll grab... No, not that one. Um, yeah, this one here. Okay, so I've got my clip. Always remember to disable resample. And yeah, right, I'm going to just get a quick song, one that's easy to sync. Uh, uh, that one's good. Okay, so I'm just going to find the point to sync. If you don't know how to do any of this stuff, by the way, leave it in the comments below and I'll be happy to make a tutorial on how to do any of the stuff that I'm doing right now. That's the drop, and I'm just gonna split the clip on the song. I didn't mean to split the clip. Split the song. All right. Now I'm gonna find where he shoots. That down. Go find where he shoots. I usually go for where the muzzle flashes, so like that, you see, that's a clear shot there, split that, drag that to there, drag that to there. Okay, so now I've got where he shoots and it's synced up to the song, so if you guys want to quickly hear, here it is. Okay, so he shoots as the song drops. Let me just give you a better idea. Okay, here, look. Okay, right, so what we want is we want the chrome warp where he shoots here. So we split the clip where he shot, like that. So we've got two sides to the clip. And on this side here, the right side of where you want the chrome warp chroma to go. Uh, you want to click here on event FX and you want all of your FX to come up and you want magic bullet looks and if you haven't got magic bullet looks it's really easy to find and install just type it on YouTube you can find it anywhere I might post a tutorial on how to get that as well if that's what's requested in the comments so once you've got magic bullet looks added to this part of the clip you want to go to edit and we'll wait for magic bullet looks to open up Right, okay, so once Magic Bullet Looks is open, you want to come over this side to Tools and you want to get Chromatic Aberration and you want to drag it onto Lens. Okay, just like so. And up here in the top right, you've got Red Cyan, Green Magenta, Blue Yellow. So what you want to do is you double click and you want to add your value. So I usually do about 7. And then whatever value you put here, you have to put down here. So minus 7. And that gives you this effect here. You might don't know if you can see. It looks a bit hectic at the moment, but it'll look better when we've done it. So then we get finished. And now we want to animate this. So click down here, animate. And what you want to do is go mm, a bit into the clip, a bit here maybe. About about 20. I usually go to about 20. Make a keyframe. And then go back into edit. Click your chromatic aberration and click reset. Like that. Then we go back to finished. So now what you've got is through this keyframe to here, the effect slowly fades away so it's at nothing. Okay, and that's that. And obviously you can move this keyframe up if you want it to last a bit longer, maybe. Or you can change the values in Magic Bullet Looks. So I put 7, but you could put 12.5 is a good one as well if you want it a bit stronger. 
So let me just render this out and show you what it looks like. Do a quick RAM render. Okay. It's just like that. So it's like a color burst, it looks really good and I really like using this effect. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching, uh, this has been Jordan and I'm out, peace.